Now, one interesting thing that I just found out is that hydrogen sulfide, which can build up in your substrate or underneath your rocks, if it's really bad, um, often it won't smell. And that makes sense in my experience because in the past I have gone to redecorate people's aquariums as the aquarium expert and then I have um, disrupted a dead spot in the substrate and released hydrogen sulfide into the aquarium and literally watched all the fish die in front of me and that's happened one time in particular and I could sort of smell that sort of little eggy smell of the hydrogen sulfide and then another time I remember I disturbed the substrate and all the fish died right in front of me and I couldn't smell it and both tanks did not have activated carbon if you've got activated carbon or polyfilter in the water then that can save you or save your fish such as one time when I was doing a shark tank and I opened up some taps that had hydrogen sulfide in them because the there was no water flow in the taps and there was a whole lot of pipe and it totally stunk out the room and the animals didn't die so that day maybe it wasn't so bad because we could smell it so apparently if you can't smell it it's worse because if it's super strong or there's heaps of it or it's more concentrated apparently it won't have a smell so that would explain why I've had similar circumstances and I haven't been able to smell it. Anyway, that's a little bit interesting. So products like Aquarium Detox, that will help stop it from forming. And then having some polyfilter or even some activated carbon in your filter is also another safeguard against if it is actually released, then it's good to have something in the water that can actually suck it out. Anyway, if you know more on this topic, put a little comment on the bottom of this video. Just like various miners or various people in some industries are concerned about hydrogen sulfide because hydrogen sulfide can actually kill people. And I did hear about well, a lake in Sweden where um, something happened with the lake and released a whole lot of hydrogen sulfide and killed all the people surrounding the lake. So hydrogen sulfide is actually poisonous to people. Not that I'm implementing I'm not suggesting that an aquarium has enough hydrogen sulfide to kill a person, but basically hydrogen sulfide is not a good thing. It's an acidic gas, so it apparently bonds to the hemoglobin in the blood and stops oxygen supply. And that would explain why when I have hydrogen sulfide issues with the fish, the first thing they do is come to the top and start gasping. So it creates major oxygen issues, which can definitely be fatal. So if you want to take precautions, use aquarium detox just dose the aquarium every three months and then you're unlikely to have a problem i've never had a problem with using it and then if you do have some activated carbon or polyfilter in the filter then if you did have a release of hydrogen sulfide then those products should be capable of removing them